My name's uh, Professor Tim Key. I work at Oxford University in Great Britain. Uh, I work on studies of diet and health, particularly cancer, and what we have in Oxford in, in Britain is a, a large study of people of whom about half don't eat meat, so we've got lots of information on the associations of vegetarian diets with long-term health, and that's why I'm at this conference today in California. The study started over 20 years ago, um, around 1993 we started recruiting. So we've now got a lot of information for the people in the study about um, diseases such as cancer and heart disease and also deaths. And the way we analyse the study is that we compare the, the people in the study who are following vegetarian diets with people recruited in the same way into our study who eat meat. So to some extent, the, the two groups are similar. But what we have to do when we compare disease rates in the vegetarians with those in the meat eaters is very carefully adjust for other factors that might influence health. For example, smoking. Um, so you know, we, we compare people according to how much they smoke as well as, well as their diet. So as far as possible, we, sh we can be fairly confident that when we find differences between the dietary groups, it's mainly due to their diet rather than other factors such as smoking or physical activity. The, the main results that we were, I've been reporting today, new data we have on both the incidence of heart disease and the incidence of the commoner cancers in the vegetarians. And we found that the vegetarians have about a 30% lower risk of heart disease than the non-vegetarians, which is really not a surprise because we've also found quite substantial differences in blood cholesterol and smaller differences in blood pressure, which are probably due to diet and cause the difference in heart disease. For cancer, it's a rather more complicated picture because there are many types of cancer with different causes. And the, the strongest evidence we have so far is that the vegetarians have low risk of two types of cancer, that's stomach cancer and also cancers of the blood. Um, but both these need a bit more research to, be, to, to further our understanding of, of what's going on and why that is the case. As I've been talking just now, I, when I say vegetarians, that's a group which would include vegans, and we normally com compare them to people who eat meat. For vegans, um, we have done some analyses looking separately at the vegans, but these are a little limited because we don't have very large numbers of vegans, so it can be difficult to produce statistically significant results. Um, so at the moment, you know, for heart disease, the vegans, it looks as if they have less heart disease, but actually that difference is not significant because the numbers are quite low. Um, for cancer, we, we can't see any clear differences for specific types of cancer, but for the, the risk of any type of cancer, the vegans do have a significantly lower risk. So that, that's very interesting, but I think it's not definite yet and definitely requires more research. And also, you know, it is just one study and we do need more information. There's very important uh, results coming out of a study based here in California on vegetarian Seventh-day Adventists. So we need to look at the, the full picture results before drawing conclusions. If we're maintaining the focus on, on vegetarian diets, then there is really a very small number of studies in the world. We did, we did such a, a collaboration a few years ago now where we, we looked at mortality rates in vegetarians. At that time, there were just five studies in the world with mortality rates in vegetarians that had recruited a large proportion of vegetarians. And that, at that time, there were two in Britain, two based in California and one quite a small one in Germany and we put all the data together on one computer in Oxford and published on that which showed a, a very clear difference with lower mortality from heart disease in the vegetarians. Now um, to go further and look at things like incident cancers, currently there are even fewer studies so I think at the moment with studies with lots of vegetarians there's only our study and the, the Californian based study. Um, but I'm hoping that more studies will, will emerge over the years. I, I've been vegan for over 30 years, but that's, it's not because I believe it has large health benefits. It's because I, I don't want to you know, contribute to the slaughter of animals.
we, we've never looked at the ethical aspects, but um, my impression is that the people we've recruited into the our EPIC study in Britain, most of the most of the vegetarians and probably almost all the vegans, the reason they're following that diet is for ethical reasons, not primarily for health reasons. I, th I think it's really quite easy to get enough enough food and enough of the essential nutrients on a vegan diet. But um, the really two things you probably have to particularly watch out for is vitamin B12 and, and calcium. And, um, you know, but there are, quite, certainly in our country, there are quite a lot of foods that are fortified with those that you can, you know, choose to eat quite frequently and then there shouldn't be any problem.